Hey guys, uh, just going to do a couple of tutorial videos uh, first this morning before getting into the hit session. Uh, I'm going to start off by showing you um, how to uh, do correct uh, posture for your high knee sprints, how to do the fast feet and the different variations that I have in my uh, workouts for, with fast feet. Uh, I'll show you the, the different variations of the burpee, from the beginner burpee to the more advanced ones and uh, talk about what you can uh, add in uh, to make the burpees a bit uh, more complex. Also, I'll show you uh, correct squats and uh, lunges. Uh, so, um, so I'm just going to show you that. I I'll do a few of these tutorial videos and uh, it's not exhaustive. It's not every exercise you can do. I'm literally only going to show you variations and the uh, different exercises that I use in my hit uh, videos and the variations that I use. So there could be different variations of these uh, exercises that I don't show you here. And that's only because I probably uh, don't use them in my hits. So um, what this is about is just showing you how to do correct posture and uh, correct form for the different uh, uh, exercises I use in my hits. So as I say, I start off with the high knee sprint. Uh, it's one that I use in almost all my hits. It's a good one to get the heart rate up, get uh, sort of the blood pumping around the body uh, to prepare you for the, the hit. So the thing with the high knee sprint is, say if I'm using my right leg, if I'm raising up my right leg, I'll bring my left hand forward, and my left, my right arm will go back. So it's alternating uh, legs and uh, with the opposite arms. So it's like that, and then the sprint is. So you gotta keep, so from the side, you gotta get those knees high with the opposite arm. So like that. And it's as fast as you can go for the 40 or the 30 seconds or whatever. Set the high knee sprint. Make sure you're looking as if you're standing tall. Keep your back straight. Keep looking forward. Opposite hand, uh, hand with the opposite leg. Uh, so that's the high knee sprint. Then the fast feet is literally uh, a different kind of exercise. Again, gets the heart rate up. A good one to use at the start of the hit. <coughs> so it is quite simply moving those feet as fast as you can to get your heart rate pumping. So like this. So from the side you'll see I'm more bent over, I'm not as straight up as with the high knees, more bent over. My core is engaged, like I'm, I'm fairly strong in the core, like that. And then you can take that one a bit further to a more advanced version, which throws in a punch. Punching straight out in front of you, like that. So add punching in the high knees, or in fast feet, fast feet, sorry, and you get fast feet punching. So, so you're trying to punch as fast as your legs are going. You'll find that uh, it's difficult to punch at the same rate. So uh, with the high knee sprints, you have the opposite ha uh, hand going with the opposite leg. With the fast feet punching, you try and achieve the same thing, but it's, it's quite difficult. So. It's, it's uh, just go as fast as you can with your punches, fast as you can with your feet. And that's the two that I use most often for, we'll say, getting the heart rate going. You can hear how I even, from just demonstrating like that, I'm puffing a bit. So that's those two. So next up then, I'll show you a lunge. So the lunge from the front, basic lunge, step out, down, up, or else step back, down, up. So that's a basic lunge from the side. You do step out, lunge down. As you see, my leg goes down, it doesn't touch the ground, but gets close, up. My back stays straight the whole time. And then with the reverse lunge, step back, down, up. Back straight the whole time. It's very important not to, you know, get into this kind of thing, because you'll just injure yourself. And working out is about getting fitter, healthier, maybe losing a bit of body fat, whatever. If you get injured, you can't work out, so that completely negates the whole thing. So those are your basic lunges. Uh, in, a, in a hit then, you can have the alternating lunge where you do your right leg, left leg, alternating like that. Uh, then a uh, different variation would be, you have a static lunge, where we'll say you're just getting into a lunge position, and you stay on the one side, doing a static lunge like that. Or as I said, the alternating lunge, we'll just do the reverse, we'll say, is alternating back with this leg, back with this leg, or the forward lunge, forward with that leg, forward with that leg. So that's your lunges. So they're the basic variations of a lunge. Uh, 
Then you can kind of move it up a small bit. Uh, another semi -vari uh, basic variation, but one that you could incorporate in a beginner, intermediate, or advanced hit is a lunge with a uh, knee to elbow. So uh, it's going to be a reverse lunge. Lunge back, come forward, knee to elbow. So from the side, it's going to be back, come forward, knee to elbow. So uh, the very basic of that one, lunge backwards, come back into your stand, knee to elbow, back into your stand, like that. So then mix it up a bit, advance a small bit from that beginner variation, back, all the one movement, up. Back, up, all one movement. So that's that. And then the more advanced version of the lunge is the jumping lunge, where you start from a standing, straight posture, jump, jump, both legs, both feet off the ground, jumping lunge from the side, standing from the start to the standing posture, jump, jump, getting a good bit of air time, getting your feet off the ground. Those really are the only variations of lunges that I use in my hit sessions. So that's all you need to know with the lunges. That's from your very basic to your more advanced jumping lunge, alternating with that, stacked lunges. Then we have the squats from the side or from the front. So front down, standing straight. You kind of um, kick your ass back a small bit, I guess. It's not just to get down like that. You get ass back, down, up. Better from the side, as I'm saying, Instead of just kind of just getting down, make it uh, a movement and concentrate on that movement. So you're standing straight. So you kind of start by just, I suppose, hinging your pelvis, your ass out of it, down and up. See the way my toes can come off the ground? So down and up. You try and keep your back as straight as if you're sitting in a chair. Pretend you're sitting down into a chair. Get nice and deep, okay? So that's your, uh, that's your squat. You have then from the front your normal squat, which is that one I've just shown you. Same uh, idea, but a sumo squat. Wider stance, you see my toes point out a small bit. Wider stance, so wider than shoulder width apart, apart, and down, and up. That's a really good one for opening up the pelvic area. Uh, squats are very good, and lunges are very good for working. Your legs entirely, but uh, your glutes, which is your ass, so good for the old summer bikini body or whatever. Uh, it's good for your hamstrings and for your quadriceps, so your hammies and your quads. It's good, down, nice and deep, deep as you can go, and up. Okay, so that's your squat. The sumo squat from the side, it's very, very same as, as the regular squat. Ass out, and up, keep that back straight, looking straight ahead, down, and up. Try not to get into a bend, no, it's not a bend over like that. It's a straight back, down, and up like that. So that's your, your squat, and uh, variations of the squat then. Uh, you have um, just a basic jumping squat. So down, up, down, up, down, up, like that. So you have a jumping squat. You can have jump and turn. So down, turn, down, turn, down, turn, down, turn, like that. So these are all things that I use in my hit sessions. So those are uh, different kind of squats. I generally don't do uh, a huge amount of variation on the squat other than uh, a jumping squat like that. Now, we've had the lunges and the squats there. You'll see in some of my hits, I do alternating lunge into squat, which from the front is jumping lunge, jumping lunge, into a squat, into a lunge, into a lunge, into a squat. So from the side, I have lunge, lunge, squat, lunge, lunge, squat, like that. So simply put in a beginner or intermediate, uh, hit, alternating lunge forward, forward, squat. So as you can see, it's the same thing, just not the jump, it's the more basic version of the lunge and the squat. So that's those, and finally I'll show you to, uh, here is, is the burpee. Now the burpee is one I use quite regularly, in fact yesterday I did a 24 minute advanced hit using nothing but burpees. Uh, so burpee is a great exercise. There's loads of variations. You can throw loads of things in, but it's one that a beginner can do as well, and I'll show you how. So from the front, the burpee is from a standing start, down, hands on the ground, kick back, kick up, and stand up. That's your most basic burpee. So from the side, standing start, hands on the ground, 
kick back, so you're straight like this, like a press up position, kick forward, and stand up, and that's it, sorry guys, I'm sure they'll call back, so just to show you one more time, hands on the ground, kick back, kick forward, and stand up, that's your basic beginner burpee, the next version or next level of the burpee, very same thing, hands on the ground, kick back into your press up position, nice and straight back, kick forward and add in a jump. You can clap your hands above your head if you want, but from the front it's just as good. Hands on the ground, kick back, kick forward and jump. So that's your second level of a burpee would say, adding in the jump. The third level then is a bit more dynamic, so down and into a press up. So not just in the press up position, but actually do the press up, back up, up and jump. So just to show you from the side then, it is down, up, up and jump. So that is almost an advanced version of a burpee really. I do put that, just that variation into an advanced burpee. And then we'd say the final level of the burpee is when you do all of that and add something in. So for, for example, you do down, up and a top jump. So it's a bit of an advance, or you could do down, up with lunge jumps. And back down, down, up, high knee sprint. So you can add something in at the end there like that. And as I said, I did a 24 minute advance hit yesterday by adding in something uh, like, like the tuck jump, like the high knee sprints. You can do one which, instead of adding something in at the end, one of the ones I did yesterday was down with your push up and then here do some mountain climbers and then up like that so you can add something into it makes it more difficult makes it a bit more complex makes it more advanced so and speaking about mountain climbers i'll just show you then uh, what the mountain climbers are and i'll show you actually star jumps so mountain climbers and star jumps and then i'll finish this tutorial and i'll do one uh, later on core so mountain climbers Get down into your press up position, okay? So from here, you are lifting each knee alternatively, or alternatively up to your chest, as high as you can go. But the key is, don't be up here like this, because you can injure your back, and it's, it's not as good a workout. Don't be back here like this, because that's just, again, you can get injured from back here. You want to have your shoulder straight above your uh, wrist, excuse me, so shoulder straight above the wrist, in a press up position, your back here is nice and straight from your shoulders to your ass, and then you're bringing your, your knees up to your chest, in between, so from the front, you see the knees come in between uh, the elbows, it's not knee to elbow like that, I'll show you that variation now. So, so the very, very early, very beginner, very basic form is just like that. And then there's only one other way of doing this, and that is do it faster, like this. Makes it more difficult, okay? So that is your mountain climber. And then you can do a mountain climber, I call it the uh, spider mountain climber, but it's where you're bringing your knee outside your elbow. Remember, was it inside your elbow? No, bring it outside your elbow. So, Outside your elbow, outside your elbow, from the side, that one is, bring it, outside your elbow, outside your elbow, and then the advanced variation of that one, same as the other one, is just do it faster, so it's like that. Just show you that one from the front, it is starting here, like that. So that is your different mountain climbers, and uh, very good exercise because it's a cardiovascular exercise, but also you bring your core into it, it's a good cardio core exercise. Finally, the star jumps, or jumping jacks as we might know them. Again, a very good exercise, very basic, very simple. The easiest one is just like that. So you're jump to here, jump to here, jump to here, jump to here, like that. So that's a good star jump. This is a good one again. Uh, you can have it instead of your high knee sprints, or have it instead of your fast feet. Uh, just do that star jump. And then the, the uh, advanced version of a star jump, stand with your feet together, bend down, jump like this. It's dynamic, jump like this. 
jump like that. From the side, that one is bend down, straight back, keep your back straight, jump, bend down, jump. So that's your advanced star jump. So that's a couple of the, uh, uh, the moves that I use in my hit sessions. Um, so just take a look at them, practice them. If you've got a mirror, just look at your form because uh, form is very important. You want your posture good. You don't want to be getting injured. And uh, yeah, so those are the ones I use in my hits. So if you're ever watching a hit and you think, oh, you know, what's the right way of doing that? Come to these tutorial videos and uh, I should have it covered here. Okay guys, thanks for watching and uh, enjoy your workout.